In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the setup process for EasyStone. The biggest thing for this particular video is to know which version of Windows that you're using, whether that be 32-bit or 64-bit. And also for CorelDRAW X6 users, one important note. As of the recording of this video demonstration, we're using EasyStone 1.4. And currently, EasyStone will only work with the 32-bit version of CorelDRAW X6. Now, when you purchase CorelDRAW X6, it comes with the 32-bit version and 64-bit version. Now, as it relates to rhinestone design, honestly, there isn't going to be much benefit to using the 64-bit version. That said, a lot of you are going to want to use the 64-bit version because you paid extra for all that additional computer power you want it available to you in CorelDRAW and so we get that however from a programming side of things um, it's a more complicated process so what our plan is is to finish introducing the features that we already have planned for EasyStone over the next several weeks and once we have a completed version of EasyStone with all the features that we plan on having in this version of EasyStone, then we will go ahead and make a final 64-bit version of the macro for those of you who are using CorelDRAW X6 64-bit. Uh, so when you go to download your application, when you purchase the macro, you've selected what version of CorelDRAW you're using and what version of Windows you're using. So just make sure that when you go to install the software that you have downloaded the proper version for your version of Windows. And we already know that for CorelDRAW X6 currently only works with 32-bit mode. So you must have the 32-bit version of CorelDRAW X6 installed. So then if you look here, we have a 32-bit installer for X5 and this would be for people who are using Windows 32-bit 32, 32 and Windows 64-bit for X5 and then of course we have a Windows 32-bit for X6 and a Windows 64-bit for X6 and again X6 only is working in 32-bit version of X6 now you can install the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of X6 on your machine and you can use both versions However, the macro is only going to work in the 32-bit version. Okay, I think I've said that enough, so I think you, I think, think you get my point. All right, so on my machine, I'm using Windows 64-bit, so I'm going to choose the 64-bit installer. And when you get your download email, you're going to already get the proper download instructions because you've already told us what version of CorelDRAW you're using and also what version of Windows you're using, whether that be 32 or 64 bit. So very simply, we just follow the on-screen prompts. Really only takes a second for the software to install and it has installed just that quickly. Now, once the software is installed, now in this case I installed it into um, CorelDRAW X5. Let's go ahead and open up CorelDRAW X5 and we'll move on to our next step. So once you have the program installed, now we need to see if it is going to work for us or if we need to take one additional step. Now, for the vast majority of you, you will need to take another step. But for those of you who have a different computer configuration, you may not necessarily have to do the next step. So what we're gonna do is come into our macro manager. And remember, we already opened that in a previous video, but if you didn't, you would go under the tools menu, come down to macros and choose the macro manager that way. And now your options may differ than mine if you have additional macros that you've installed and so forth, but really I only use the EasyStone macro. So we're gonna expand the EasyStone macro and see here where it says EasyStone and then the EasyStone launcher, that is what we use to actually open up the EasyStone macro. Now, if the EasyStone macro opens like this, 
then you know everything's going to work just fine on your machine. You do not need to take the next step, which is installing the optional VBA runtime files. And we have a separate video for that for those of you who get some kind of goofy error message. You know, it might say something like, you know, the aliens are invading the world or something. Uh, uh, who knows what the error message might be? Point is, if the interface does not open like you see it here, then that tells you you've got to take the next step. Now, just as a side note, because invariably somebody's going to say, what in the world is EST? Well, you can play with EST, but as you see, it doesn't really do anything. So, um, we just don't have to worry about that. That is part of Easy Stone, but you cannot click on this and make it do anything. So that is just kind of something to keep in mind. Okay? So that's pretty much it to installing Easy Stone. Now, if, like I said, if you try to open up Easy Stone and you've got some kind of weird error message, library files are missing, or you know some other strange message that doesn't make any sense, um, just go ahead and close out CorelDRAW altogether and watch that next video on installing the VBA runtime files.